In today's video, should you use intermittent fasting for contest prep? Hey guys, this is Paul from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to discuss the topic of intermittent fasting as in its use in contest prep. Now, first I wanna say thank you for the great questions. They've been coming across my Instagram direct message. I've been screenshotting them, saving them. Here it is, I'll post it up here for you. Here's my Instagram and the, uh, the question that came along today. And I felt it was a good question, though a little bit incomplete. But I wanna ask you guys a favor. If you've been enjoying these videos, I've noticed that quite a few of my video views are by non-subscribers. Maybe you don't know how much I value seeing that little subscriber number go up. So if you haven't done it yet and you get a chance, please click the subscribe button. It makes my day. Now let's talk about intermittent fasting and contest prep. So the question came in about the trainer who is helping her get ready for her second contest prep. And she mentions that they're starting prep while fasting and then working out in a fasted state and then doing three cardio sessions per week and taking in about 1500 calories. Well, first things first, was this plan orchestrated because of your current situation? I don't know anything about you, height, weight, uh, how far you are from stage, how far, how much body fat you have to lose. All of those are factors when determining how aggressive or how not aggressive you're going to be with your approach and getting ready for stage. When it comes to cardio, if you were doing no cardio and you go to three sessions a week, 30 minutes, that doesn't seem like an outrageous amount to me. If you were on 2000 calories and you go to 1500, that doesn't seem outrageous to me. But again, it all comes down to the specifics of you. And was that taken into consideration when this plan was created? Did you give this person some information about how many calories you're taking in, how much cardio you're doing, how much training you're doing? Outside of that, let's get into the specifics of intermittent fasting. Do I think intermittent fasting is effective? Yeah, I've obviously seen some people get great results with it. Some people live by it. It helps them to maintain a body composition they're happy with without having to be super strict with calories. But having said that, during contest prep, I really believe in the idea of eating at regular intervals. Now, having said that, intermittent fasting is not one thing. There's not one way to do intermittent fasting. In fact, I think I probably practice some form of fasting because my last meal is around nine o'clock at night. My first meal is around eight o'clock in the morning. That's an 11 hour fast. Now granted, most of that is spent sleeping, but some of that is spent working. So I technically am fasting for 11 hours. I think what most people refer to when they talk about fasting, especially if you're doing a three hour, a three meal day, you're probably doing the 16 hour fast, eat in an eight hour window. And for that reason, maybe you're training fasted and then eating after your first, um, eating after your workout session. I'm not sure, you didn't really give me the specifics on that. Here's what I'll say. If you're working with a trainer, you need to trust that person. If you're working with a coach, you need to trust that person. Does that mean you should not question things? Hell no, question everything. But if they give you a sound answer and it gets you to the point where you can follow through with the plan, then go with it. The only real problem I have is when people just give out ideas and thoughts and plans blindly based on what they think works, what they've seen work, without the specifics of the individual being thought of. That's the most important thing. You're different than everyone else. If the, the trainer gave you the same plan as someone else in the gym, well, you gotta pay attention to maybe you're not getting the best information. If you're paying for a service, make sure you're getting a service that you value, okay? None of us are perfect. I make mistakes, your trainer is gonna make mistakes, but does that person make mistakes while trying to serve your best interest? That's the real big question. So does fasting work? I believe there's value in fasting. You know, I'm a person who eats too much protein, I feel like, for me to focus on eating in an eight hour window. I tried it, if you guys go back, I did intermittent fasting for a couple weeks. My real struggle was I eat 250 grams of protein a day because I weigh 210 pounds. Um, well, actually, guys, I'm down to 205. I should probably do a physique update because I'm a lot leaner at 205 than I was at 210 for my last update a couple weeks ago. So if you guys are interested in a physique update, make a comment below and I'll get that done in the next couple days. But 
because my protein is so high, I was having trouble getting 70, 80 grams of protein in a sitting when the meals were so close together. So I like breaking up my meals into four a day, but I'm still typically getting a fast because I'm eating at like eight, I'm eating at noon, I'm eating at five, I'm eating at eight or nine, and then I'm going to bed, right? So I'm spacing my meals out. I feel much more comfortable getting 60 or 70 grams of protein per meal as opposed to trying to really cram myself and really feel stuffed. Um, and spacing out my meals gives me energy throughout the day. You know, I know people that love fasting because they say they're not hungry, they have more energy. I'm probably in a state of my diet where fasting is pretty much happening because of how lean I am. So I think it comes down to what's successful to you, what works with your schedule, what works with your timeline. Do I think there is a benefit to fasting and only having two or three meals versus having four meals when calories, protein, fiber are the same? No, I think you're probably gonna get a very similar result. So it just comes down to what's best for you. And worst case scenario, if you try it for a week or two, like I did, and you decide you don't like it, well, you can always change it. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Awesome question, thank you guys, keep them coming, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.